Okay, welcome back to the garage, everybody. It is day one of Rocky Mountain Race Week, and it's probably almost five, it's almost 5:40 now. We teched in at noon, uh, right around noon. noon. Tech went great. Uh, not sure what happened during the ETs. They're just now getting ready to uh, start running unliving it. So we'll go ahead and throw it over to Cletus real quick. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. He's got 16,000 people that's recording videos of him right now. So. <laughs> We thought we would take the time to kind of update what's going on. We are the third from last class for first run. So they've broken all the classes down and they started with the street ET class, I guess. And something happened, somebody broke down, maybe old the track down because nobody ran for forever. And then some more street guys started running. As I said, they're getting ready to do ET. They just called up Super Street. No. Outlaw radials or something like that, and stick shift and gas. Stick shift and gasers, which means there's still like three or four more classes ahead of us before we get our first run in. And we've decided we're just going to go out there. We got the trans brake set up at 2500. We're just going to go up and send it to 2500 to see what it does. Test the suspension out. We may not even get into the nines on the first the first run, so we're going to kind of play it by ear before we worry about having to run. Eighth mile and moderate passes. Yeah, so that's kind of the goal. It's hot, but at least the wind is blowing. We're in the shade right now, so no complaints. And uh, yeah, cars ready to rock and roll. We just got to get our chance to get up there and see what we'll do. So we'll uh, probably from this point cut over to our first pass and throw some video up, see how the thing does, what we're running, and then we'll do see whether or not we're going to run any more passes. We're hoping to get. Maybe one two and would be badass. One and done. If we go out there and rip like a 960 out on the first one, we may just turn the time slip in and head right. to the hotel and go get some steaks. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, but yeah, as I said, stick around. We'll see what happens. Talk about what just happened. Yeah, it was ugly. <laughs> so as you saw, we ran a 12.5 at 100 and what seven? 106. And so we get back, we pull the data log in there and find out that the timing table was inverted. For the most part, we were running 31 and a half degrees of timing, which is absolutely nothing on a big block like this. Uh, on top of it, we were only getting about 74% throttle. Something else that probably kind of bit us a little bit so we weren't yeah. getting wide open throttle uh and a little bit rich which you know we kind of expected the fueling to be off a little bit uh because we that's the first hit that we've ever made on this thing on top of all of that with the 3 gears if you've got an air conditioner in your car turn it off make sure dummies if you ever go to the drag strip make sure to turn your air conditioning off so you don't ruin things for everybody else so a uh, little bit rich, that's not a problem so much. We'll get that dialed out. We got the timing fixed on it. We only left at 2,500 RPMs and cut a 180, which is nothing. But we didn't even get the tires warmed up. Possibly because of the timing also. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, what they've done this year is allowed 320 some people race, which is the dumbest thing they could have done. Uh, track closes down in less than an hour or so. All right. 15 minutes. Uh, I guess they added 30 minutes. Whole 30 minutes. 
And so all the ET Street guys ran straight back up there and filled the pits up. So I just, I don't even think it's worth trying to get up there and get another run in today. As we talk, people are just shooting by. Frustrating day, but we're going to go to Pueblo tomorrow and swap over the 411s with the lock or the spool. Which the locker did fine. I don't, I don't think that was a problem. Throw a lot more timing at it. Probably try and go full E85. Throw a little more timing at it. Lean it out a little bit and go 100% throttle for once. Yeah. So learning experience. Very disappointed, but at the same time, probably could have been avoided if this car had been running before Tuesday. Yeah, literally Tuesday or Wednesday was the first time we got this car out and, and was able to actually get some data on it to try and tune it in. So it's never been down the track before that. So we got, got a lot of catching up to do. We're gonna be two seconds behind everybody in our class right now, but we're gonna try and chop some, some serious time off over the next four tracks. And then on top of it, I don't, you know, other than it running hot, hopefully it won't do that on the highway now. Uh, I, I don't see any issues with reliability. No, and it hasn't been running hot either. Yeah, yeah. So I think once we get it up to speed, whenever we drive it on the 411s through the mountains, it might start running. Watch it, watch it. So I will do a video next week going over some of the data logs that we pulled from running the, the passes and talk about the adjustments that we've made. This guy's about to fire up his car. It's going to be loud. It's loud anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuned.